Hello guys, welcome back to SAS LTD deals. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on SAS software. I am back with another review and today I am going to review Logic Sheet. So Logic Sheet is a tool that allows you to automate your workflows in Google Sheet. So basically it is the Google Sheet automation tool and let me show you what you can do with this. So you can listen to triggers like spreadsheet edit, form submission, run automations hourly, daily or weekly. You can set up conditions, you can run automatic automations like sending emails, Slack, updating sheet data, Notion, Airtable, HubSpot, etc. You can also use merge tags to refer to dynamic data in your message. And Logic Sheet is kindly available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is over $200, but at AppSumo you are getting this tool at only $99. Now let's have a look at all the plans and features. So these three are the plans that are available on AppSumo for Logic Sheet. The individual plan, it lets you connect only one Google Sheet account. You have unlimited automation executions per day, unlimited automation creations, and also access to all features without limit. And on the team plan, you can license five Google Sheets account in the same Google Workspace domain. And the rest of the features are the same as the individual plan. There is also enterprise plan that lets you connect unlimited Google Sheet accounts in the same Google Workspace domain and the remaining features are the same as previous plans. So if you want to buy Logic Sheet on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. Also if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Watch the full video till the end to know how. Now before I show you how Logic Sheet works, let me first take you to the roadmap of this tool. Okay, so here's the roadmap. Here are all the features that are in the to-do list. And these three are the features that are currently in progress. You also have three up next features. And these features are currently in beta. And you can also see all the completed features. Now let me show you how logic sheet works. So after opening the sheet file, you have to make sure you turn on the extension. So for that, click on this. And something I forgot to tell you is that first you have to go to Logic Sheets website and then after you log in, you are going to get the option to install this extension on your Google Sheet. So once you do that, you have to open the sheet file and then click on extension, then go to this Logic Sheet and click on launch. So as you can see on the right side, the dashboard of Logic Sheet has opened. And if you click on this, you can go to your account dashboard, manage subscription. You can see all the templates. So in order to run automations, there are two options on logic sheet. So one is you have to create your manual automation with different triggers, conditions and actions. But you can also skip that part by using these templates. So if I open this, so here's the template gallery. Here you will get all the pre-given automations that are already created for you. So you can send form response to HubSpot CRM contact using this particular template. Then you can remove duplicates in a sheet every hour. You can send email when a new row is added in Google Sheet. You can subscribe Google Form Respondent to MailChimp automatically. You can send Form Respondent to Monday.com CRM. You can send Slack messages when a form submission is received. So just like this, there are various templates on Logic Sheet. So first, let me show you how to use any of these templates. So I'm going to use this remove duplicates, remove duplicates in a sheet every hour. So what this automation is going to do is remove the duplicates, which means on my sheet, on my Google sheet, if there are any duplicate entries, it is going to check for that. This automation is going to check for duplicates every hour. And if there is any, it is going to remove that. So let's open this. So now you can get some details about this particular template on here. Now let's use this template. So before you launch the template, there are a lot of customization options. You can edit literally everything from trigger to action. You can set conditions if you want. The first setting that I have to choose is the trigger type. So it is set to schedule a time to run. And that particular time is run every hour. I can also set it to a specific time or every day, every week, every month. So whatever I select according to that timing, the automation is going to check for duplicates. And for the trigger type, you have all these options. So instead of schedule a time to run, what I want is when a sheet is edited, which means this automation is going to trigger every time someone adds or remove something on this sheet file. And then I have to choose the sheet. So there are sheet one and two, as you can see sheet one and two. So I have to select the automation for one single sheet. So I'm going to select sheet one. And then if there are any errors during the automation, if I want email about that email notification. So how many times I want, it could be up to once per hour, once per day, only once or immediately. So I'm just going to select immediately. 
and in case of any errors you can pause after first error or you can pause after three consecutive errors or you can also never pause if you want and then we have the action so the action is going to be remove duplicates but there are also many other options that you can choose from and once again i have to select the action for the specific sheet and i can look up specific range so i can enable this data has header row or enable this analyze all columns i can also add more actions name the automation and if all the settings are done all i have to do is just click on save and run so as you can see the automation is now appearing on my dashboard on logic sheet and it is also enabled which means currently it is running so i can also switch it off so now it is off and obviously i can turn it on and there are also some other options so i can delete it copy this automation in order to create another version of it i can run the history edit it and also see the overview so now i want to add some data i want to add some entries on this sheet and then i'm going to check if the automation is really working okay so now on this google sheet file on the sheet one i have added some data some names and some numbers and if you notice all of them are unique they do not match with each other so now what i want to do is add some duplicates so i want to copy all these names and then paste them on here and let's see what happens so as you can see they have disappeared and why is that because they were all of them were duplicates and that is why they were removed by this automation that is running using logic sheet so just like that i also want to add some numbers and then paste these numbers on here so let's see what happens and once again the numbers have vanished using the automation that i have turned on on logic sheet so this is a super basic automation that i showed you you can remove duplicates super easily on your google sheet file using this template but other than them there are also a lot of other automation so you can see all of the templates so here are all the templates that you can use and other than templates there are also some integration options available so let's see them so there are many popular platforms that are available for integration with logic sheet such as slack mailchimp airtable hubspot and webhook now what about creating automation manually so for that you have to click on this and then click on create new you can also import from recipe so for that you have to paste the recipe configuration on this box and if you click on this you can get more details about the recipe so this recipe is usually shared using the json format it is the exported configuration from another workflow or another recipe shared by users and in order to create a new automation manually you have to click on this and then click on create new so first of all we have to set all the triggers so the trigger type here are all the trigger type that are available and based on the trigger type you will get the option so since i selected this scheduler time to run i have to select the timing from here so if you select something else for example if you select a form response is received so now there is no option to select the time and then you have to choose the sheet so it could be sheet one or two then you have to choose the setting about errors and in case of errors what is going to happen so it could be pause after first error three consecutive errors 10 consecutive errors or never pause and then you can add conditions so let me show you all the condition options so you have to select when all or any of the conditions are is met and then you have to select what to compare so it could be compare a cell general condition and then you have to select the value the condition is or is not so you have to choose one from these options and then you have to provide the value on here you can also add multiple conditions so now once again you have to fill up all these details and then you have to choose the action so it could be send email slack message update notion or whatever you want from these action types and if you select the send email you have to provide the recipient or subject if you select send slack message then you have to connect your slack account if you select update notion so once again you have to connect the notion account so this is how the action is going to work and for the email you have to choose the subject the recipient and the email body you can also add sender name cc bcc if you want and just like multiple conditions you can also add multiple actions so for that just click on this now you can add another action on here and last but not least you have to provide the automation name and you can then save it and run which means launch your automation but if you do not want to do that immediately you can also save this as a draft so let me save this so as you can see now the automation is in draft so it is not enabled 
So overall logic sheet is an excellent tool that lets you automate your workflows in Google Sheets and for that you can set custom triggers, you can customize the conditions, you can also add various actions and you can add multiple conditions as well as multiple actions for a workflow and there are also a lot of important integration options available with logic sheet that are going to be super helpful for you. So if you want to buy logic sheet on a lifetime deal from AppSumo make sure you check the link in the description below. With this tool you are going to get these three plans. So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link. And this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.